Mike Trueblood, sports editor of the Gillsborough Register Mail. It's week seven of the high school football season, and uh, the Gillsborough Silver Streaks are getting ready for uh, Western Big Six game Friday at Allman High School. Uh, the Streaks are coming off uh, an impressive win over United Township last week, and we're here talking with Gillsburg head football coach Tim Doherty. Coach, um, your team came out fast and hard <coughs> against UT, uh, led by uh, Kobe Ramirez on uh, last Friday. Uh, what do you recall most about that game and what s still sticks with you? Well, you know, I, I think that, um, you know, as a coach, you're always wanting that perfect game when, when things fall into place. And, and uh, you know, I think in the, definitely in the first quarter, that's how we were playing. Uh, and, and, and they've been working towards that, so it wasn't like it was a fluke. You know, I can remember every team, there's a point where, you know, they just, they figure it out, as they say, and things fall into place. So that definitely was our, our uh, coming together moment, if you want to call it that. However, we followed it up with a couple minutes in the uh, uh, second quarter where we showed signs of how we've been playing at times hard, but making mis enough mistakes to make it hard on ourselves. So, uh, Kobe Ramirez has had some good games for you already this season, but uh, that might have been his most impressive uh, to date. Uh, I had him statistically for, uh, I think it was 229 in the first half. He finished around 250, 260. Um, and uh, just really ran the ball hard and, and really kind of set a tone for you guys. And what can you say about the way he played? Well, I was kind of kidding him. You know, he came out with cramps, and I said, you know, I, had, I don't know, it's made him at 220. That would have given him 440 for the game. But uh, realistically, you know, he plays both ways. So he had a great start, you know, when you watch it on film. And again, a great credit to the offensive line. I mean, every, everything was clean in there, particularly in the first half. And uh, Kobe's one of those kind of backs, you know. He, he's a smart runner. He knows the schemes up front. And we just haven't had those creases, as they say. But he, he really put his foot in the ground and went. Uh, you mentioned your offensive line. Uh, we, we talked earlier with uh, Robert Castellano, who's come back to the team. Uh, and uh, this is his first full game uh, against United Township last week. Talk about the, the impact he's made uh, on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, in your line? Oh, it's huge. I mean, he started at center for us for six, seven games last last year, and he's just his quickness and strength in the offensive line at center allows us to do so many combination blocks that most high school teams can't do. I um, mean, it was evident, you know, a lot of those creases, <coughs> excuse me, that Kobe got were because of we were able to get another lineman up on the second level. So, um, and uh, so Robert gives us that dimension. Holloman uh, is returning to uh, the form that a lot of people in the Western Big Six are used to, uh, uh, up, up or near the top of the conference this year. They suffered a loss at Quincy last week, but they're still uh, awfully dangerous. Uh, what are you expecting from them on Friday? Well, the same, the same thing we've, uh, we've always gotten from them. They're going to show up. They're not going to uh, beat themselves. They're going to play hard. You know, the Matichek kid is a year older. He's, he's a handful. He makes them go. Um, you know, similar to, to uh, 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 Jarrell Brock with Quincy. I mean, the schemes are different, but Matichek makes him go. Uh, he left the game early last year, and, and really, you know, it, uh, it ended up being an easier game once he was out. But uh, he's a he's a he's a difference maker. Okay, Coach. Uh, we wish you the best of luck Friday night and the rest of the season. Thank you.